All right, so I want to do a little quick follow-up video on the planting of your planted tank because I just planted everything and I kind of wanted to compare to how I uh, drew it out in that past video. So if you watch the video of it freshly planted, which I did today, you'll notice it's very similar to how I drew it out with a few exceptions. Most of it's spacing problems because I did not draw this to size and I underestimated the size of these rocks. I had planned to put five in, one, two, three, four, five, but I only got to fit in two since I underestimated this, this area here, which is actually non-existent. The baby tears go right up against the rotella because I got more of that than I thought I would. One of the Anubias died off, so I only have three Java ferns, which I kind of stuck on one rock over here. And then there's uh, Anubias kind of stuck on the driftwood, and another rock that right here that has a larger Java fern. But these two plants had no room to fit in between these two areas. So I found some room by taking out a few rocks that I had planned. And I have the Grip Spiralis right here. Now the Dwarf Sword, there was no room with the... Because this Spiralis thing is humongous. So the Dwarf Sword had to go back here. And it's a good thing I had um, less Jungle Vial than planned. So this area, it's, there's a pretty large area back here by the filter with no plants. Except the Dwarf Sword. And hopefully that jungle valve will spread because I know it sends off runners. In this corner, this corner was very accurate to what I had drawn out. Even the rock, the moss ball, driftwood with the moss on it, anacris in the corner with some Ludwigia. I didn't get as much anacris as I thought I would, but I did get more uh, Ludwigia. I didn't even know if I was going to get that, so. This area is pretty nice back here. It's a little smaller than I would want it, along with this, which is a little smaller. But I did get a ton of Rotella, so there's like a forest over here, which looks kind of cool. Uh, dwarf Sage, got a good amount of that, which will also spread. Now you notice, you kind of have to, you can't just, okay, I'm just going to place this here, here, here. You have to plan out where's the, you know, where's the flow of the water where are you looking it from and uh, how tall is each plant going to get so the reason I put jungle val and dwarf sage in the middle area of this tank is because the filter is going to be right back here in the middle and these two plants like a lot of water flow so there's going to be constant flow over this middle area another reason why you put why I put Rotella, Jungle Val, Anacris, and Edwigia in the rear sections of the tank, along with the Omni plant as well, is because they grow tall. I mean, some of these plants are already up to this ceiling, which is uh, a ceiling of my fish tank, which is 12 inches tall. So I'm going to have to trim those pretty heavily once they start actually growing. In the front, Baby Tears and Dwarf Sag stay real small, and they're kind of a carpet so it doesn't block your view of anything else in the tank and the driftwood you don't want to just stick it right in the middle because that doesn't look natural so in reality I actually moved this driftwood a little farther over so the starts kinda here and ends somewhere in this area I also uh, put the moss on that in the lower sections so it would not block the view of the larger plants. So there's a lot of planting that goes involved into this uh, dirt tank and you don't want to just plant as you go because especially when using dirt once you put something in you don't want to keep you know pulling it out and you know, move it over here because you're going to break that cap. And I actually had experience with that today. I, uh, when I was planting that humongous crypt the root ball was like a baseball and I had no idea how I was going to put it in there, so I kind of had to dig a little hole and then 
and I'm moving around. I accidentally broke through the gravel cap and the dirt started like flying everywhere. So, but that's why you have, uh, like I said in my other video, you have a bag of gravel next to you while you're planting. So if something like that happens, you can just throw it on, which is what I did right away. And it was fine. So don't be moving stuff around. This is why we plan ahead of time. And that way it goes a lot quicker than if you're just sitting next to the tank wondering uh, why you didn't put this here and then you gotta move stuff and you don't have enough room or you have too much room and everything's scrunched together in a corner. So careful planning will pay off in the long run. See ya.